Hello, everybody. Today for Sunday Fun Day, we're going to see how I draw the head nurse. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. That was smooth, wasn't it? I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Head nurse. Now, it might not make sense if you just see the picture, but the idea was the name was funny to me. Now, obviously, if you're the head nurse, it's you're the one in charge, right? You're the, the boss, the, the, the boss nurse. And I thought that was a funny title, like, well, let's, let's uh, make a giant head. You know what I mean? Something like that. But the more I thought about it, the more I, I, I kind of wanted to just, I, I wanted to pay tribute and say thanks to all the, <laughs> it's funny, just hang on, to all the hardworking uh, medical professionals that did so much during this pandemic. And it, again, it, it's silly to say that that's what I'm doing with this drawing, but I, I'm not making it ridiculously silly. So, yes, um, it's not the, the most beautiful tribute in the world because... It is still kind of a silly picture, but um, I'm not making it ridiculous because of, uh, like I said, I want to pay tribute and respect how hard those people have worked for us to get us all vaccinated and taken care of and whatnot. So it, it went from a silly picture to let's 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 do some research, and then I found. Okay, so I love capes, obviously, right? And then I found these beautiful pictures of the 1940s uh, of military nurses that had, because I've always loved a nurse's cape, right? And I was like, why? What, where did that come from? And I started doing the research as to what uh, was behind it and all that. And I, I, lost, <laughs> I lost the research, but I started finding these really beautiful pictures of, of the... Uh, the capes and the military, I think it's the Navy, the professionals that wore them and all this stuff. And I saw this beautiful picture of a uh, nurse with this, with this hat and the cape and all that. And I was like, my gosh, she's a superhero in her own right there alone. That that's all it took. I was like, that's it. I'm, I'm in love. I got to draw this. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And that's where it came from. So the point was the uh, the nurse's cape gave me the idea to make a superhero-ish type character, but not over the top flying or anything like that. You know, just it, then then that's when I got into my head of well, you're paying tribute, you're you're respecting the. Uh, profession by by uh, drawing of them in a, a again I guess you could call it a superhero fashion but more of a a uh, tribute you know So, I kind of have her doing this just, you know, grand gesture of just being herself. And so there you go. There there again is, is I'm not really going over the top, but, but it is a little superhero-ish, you know? Especially, I'm, I'm making a cape a lot bigger than it is. But again, I just I just wanted to do some kind of 
again, I, I want to call it a tribute, but it's not because it's obviously a little, a little uh, stylized. But, but that's that's my story. Is this came about from me doing the research and and falling in love with the costume. Something like that. That looks good to me. Should I give her a mask? I almost should. You know, as a as a respectful thank you. Please, everybody, wear a mask. Get inoculated. You know, take care of yourself. If not, if not for yourself, for your others. You know, for the for society. You know what I mean? It's like other people that have. Well, you heard it before. You know, I'm, I'm not going to get on the soapbox. Just everybody, look out for each other. That's really what it comes down to. We'll put her hair in like a bun back here like that. And the hat's going to be a little big, but that's that's how it goes sometimes. I got a little, a little cockeyed. I think that'll work. There you go that looks good to me let's uh let's let's go the the sketch was pretty quick um she looks almost like a zaro character honestly but again is based on a real a real costume all right so what i'm gonna do now is just erase lightly and those first few lines that i was doing basically the entire thing started off as a, just a quick sketch of throwing lines down trying to get the placement the position and the proportions and as I got more confident with all that, I pressed harder. So now that I'm erasing, the sketch lines disappear pretty easily while the confidence lines take a little bit more pressure. So what's left are the confidence lines. So I'm following my confidence, getting rid of the sketchiness. And that's how you live your life. Do that, you'll do amazing things, and I'll be there celebrating your success. So let's welcome everybody that skipped to the next section and get going. Welcome skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm going to be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen. Mostly the fine point, but the pen's a little finer than the fine point. You can find things that the fine point can't quite find. I've sketched the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of the sketch lines, but left myself enough to see where we're going to go. And if you want to see more Sunday Fun Day, check out that playlist right there. Or just check out the playlist in general because I do so many that I may have already drawn what you're looking for. So uh, give it a look see what you like and if not give me a request and we'll, we'll see what we can do I'm just gonna jump right in with the Sharpie pen because I can control the line with much better I'm gonna draw her eyelids like this then I'm gonna draw the retina the color part of the eye like this and it's so tiny for the pupil if you want to do it I'm just gonna dab mine in just a little bit right in the center if I can because these sharpies will bleed at this size so I'm trying to keep it minimal for uh, what I can control for the bottom of the eye speaking of that control if I draw the entire thing it'll bleed so I just kind of come in and point towards the center if you want to draw the line go for it but I know these will bleed if I do that so I let color take care of it and I just try to imply that there's something there and I like to add like a little bit of a lash on the outer edge just to give it a, a nice feminine eye and I know men have some lashes too sometimes but it's just kind of a, a look for a, a, um, a, a beautiful feminine eye 
but not that men don't have feminine eyes either, but you, you know what I'm trying to say. So for her brow, I'm just gonna kind of come over and do this. Keeping it real simple. Do the other one like this. Like that. Now I am going to go ahead and draw the bridge because I'm drawing the mask. And so you're not gonna see much of her face anyway. So I'm just kind of giving you a little bit of detail. So let's go ahead and draw a face mask. Like that, and it's basically gonna trace around her face. So, I'm just gonna follow the shape of her face. See, something like that. So it's not perfect, that one's got more of a bump, this one's more round, but that's okay, because usually what I do is I come back and I thicken up my lines anyway. I can go on the outside of this one, come inside on this inside of this one, and create that bumpish kind of look. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. I'm just explaining to you how why I draw how I draw. But when I switch over to that sharpie, you're going to see a huge difference in line width. So I kind of match about roughly where it's going to go. I've just done this so many times, I know what it's going to end up looking like. So that's why I kind of fix some lines, do stuff like that, and I'm I'm not even going to worry about any lines in that face. I'm leaving it blank. I'll maybe do something with color, but I just want to keep it super simple. Now she's wearing a hat, so I can draw the mask up like this, like around her ear, right? And we'll go ahead and do some of her ear, because obviously we can see it. And then uh, some, of her, some of her hair kind of coming up. Now, I gotta draw the hat before I can do anything else. So I'm gonna stop um, at that point. And also, her hand is over here too. So, let's see. Maybe we should draw down to the hand and then work our way back. Let's do that. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Switch it over. So I'm gonna draw her neck right here, right? And then her, her, um, her cape, her nurse's cape. this and I guess I'll go ahead and do her shoulders so you can see where we are and then the cape's gonna go around that side like that again this is just kind of rough idea to give you an idea of where we are then we're gonna work our way back up because this arm shoulders up like this Going down here, cape's going over this way, but again, behind the arm, something like that. In the forearm, here's her wrist cuff, right? So the forearm is gonna be over like this. There's the elbow, coming back over to her chest. Down like this. Okay, roughly just to give you an idea, we're gonna, I'm gonna come back and add some detail. I'm just giving you the shapes. And so her hand is up like this. And then I'm gonna draw the pinky. I'm gonna be delicate because this is super tiny. And so much for being delicate. There's a big old fat sausage finger. Um, sometimes, I try to get as much as I can with the detail that I can with the Sharpie, but sometimes it's a little bit too big. But I'm trying to work with what we have and what you can just grab or line around the house, you know? I want you to be able to just grab what you have and not have to worry about expensive materials. So if you got a Sharpie, let's use it. But sometimes for tiny details like that, it gets a little hard to keep the detail in, you know? up. 
Hmm, maybe you didn't need those lines. Don't do those lines. I don't like them. Okay, but the point is, now I can draw the hat. And I guess I could just go ahead and work with the big Sharpie since I have it. I'm just gonna draw a wide brim going across and it's kind of going under in the back. Okay, so let's just do the top, just do the front. Something like that. I'm gonna loop it back around to the back of her head. So we're gonna say it's coming back here like this. Ah, uh, I drew through the pinky. Oh well, what are you gonna do? And then that's just the brim, so we gotta get to the actual hat, which is here, a little off to the side. Whimsically askew. I'm gonna draw up to it, close it off, draw over to that, and it's just, it's super hard to not turn my paper. So that's why I'm just doing stuff like this. My hand looks weird. Man, I wish I could turn the paper. Connecting that there. Okay, so now that I have that, let me add, I got a lot of stuff cut through and that's okay. You know, I, I wish it didn't, but sometimes you gotta work with what you got and that's okay. So yeah, I wish it didn't cut through the pinky right there. That just makes it less that you can see. But uh, you know what, we'll make it work. I'm good with that. Okay, and that probably should have been a little bit lower just to match the other side, but that's okay. No one's gonna look at this and say, that doesn't make any sense. And if they do, yeah, good for them. Who cares? All right, so she's wearing a dress. Um, I guess we should go ahead and draw it. That way we'll just finish up what's behind her, right? And it's, it's kind of tucked in, kind of cinched right here. Right, so we're gonna say there's a little tuck in like that. Almost like a belt. See, it's a little, I got a little too close. Today, I'm not, I'm not controlling my Sharpie very well, and that's okay. It's frustrating, but that's okay, because it, there's bigger things to worry about in this life. I'm not worried about that. So I'm gonna come down here, draw the other side. I don't know why I said the other side. The, the reason I said it is because I'm really frustrated. I'm not happy, and that happens. You know, but I'm not gonna throw this away. I'm not gonna throw a tab of tantrum. But I'm, I'm, I'm unfocused right now because I'm not happy with it. But again, it's okay. Fine. All right, so let's also give a little detail to the uh, um, front of the dress. It's like a, um, what do you call it? Buttons, I keep it all together. I did those way too close, so now I have to draw a whole bunch of them. And let's see, um, crease line. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So now I'm just gonna draw her cape and her feet. Oh, and I guess her arm. <laughs> okay, so um, she, you just see a little bit of her shoe. Nothing too crazy. Doesn't need to be that pointed. Again, I just don't have any control over my Sharpie today. And I, I guess today's exercise is, you know, you can either get mad and throw it away or just go with what you got it's okay okay back to the cape so I've got it kind of flying up almost like the Zorro style you know just kind of Flying with her arm as if she lifted her arm to flip her, her hat. Like 
like this, and this one's just hanging down, but I gotta draw her arm first. So I got her arm kind of bent. And come down here to the elbow. And draw the cuff like we did up there. And again, her hand, just out, basically doing this. A little, a little foreshortened, a little, a little, uh, like this, something like that. So, you know, we're, we're a little strange in that. It's just gonna look like a lump right there, you know? Sometimes that's how it is. And sometimes we can fix that. I just wanna let you know that, yeah, we're gonna go a little, a little strange today. A little, uh, super dynamic. Something like that. Then we're gonna add some detail. Then we'll finish the cape. So for her hand, kind of coming through like this. Kind of fixing a few of those lines I couldn't fix before. Or, you know, that were a little out of my control. But I'm trying to control it with this Sharpie. You know, that's the best thing I can say. Let's leave it like that. If I keep adding more lines, it's going to uh, get crazy. I do that too much. I'm trying to reduce it, but it's just so much fun. Okay, there's that. Let's just leave that like it is. It's like I have no control today. I'm having a bad Sharpie control day. Let's walk away while I can. Okay, so the cape is just hanging down. Something like this. Then it's gonna flow back over, but I gotta draw the part that goes up, right? But where it goes over, we'll do like that. So there you go. I say we take care of the rest with color. So for Sunday Fun Day, that is the head nurse. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below, or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own, because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw, and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures with how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.